now I am showing you the workflow. The, mm, the, very, the simpler workflow in using the, the creasing is this one, where you have a vector reader, a time series iterator reader, which is you have a time series, and we have a little bit of a future collection, which is the name in, uh, for uh, the shape files, that man or the raster files, that manage the position of your stations. And then you estimate the se experimental semi-value of that. You just get uh, a <coughs> mouse with the times, with the uh, function, we have in Avashisa uh, the distance, and in, in, in ordinate, the actually you have the distance and the, the distances and the in the values of the semi-variogram, the experimental semi-variogram in two different vectors, two outputs. How it is the SIG file for this, uh, for this component is similar to the other one that you already saw uh, yesterday and uh, even today. <coughs> uh, yeah, you have the, uh, start date and end date because uh, the, the system run as soon as it has inputs <coughs> and this, you can see this in this while reader data to process while there are data in, in, the, da in the reading this reader data is connected to this one this is a, a first connector which is a, a time series iterator reader. And um, then here you have also other components, uh, the shape file, uh, the reader of the, the shape, uh, shape file of the station. This is the experimental uh, semi-variogram estimator. And uh, you have two iterations because obviously what you read, you have also to, to write. If you attach to this a writer, in a, in a, in a, in a, uh, this writer here um, is used to write the, the data in a file. Obviously, you can just connect this, uh, this component to another component that processes this data. In that case, nothing is written. Everything else happens in memory. That says given for implicit in what? Yes. Uh, do you need to set the number of pins in the experimental variable? Or it's it does it automatically? It should be somewhere okay. in, the, in the parameters. Okay. But now we. Okay. Here it is the parameter data set, the name of the, uh, of the input file. The idea of the station, the time step, which is 60 here, means uh, uh, every, I think every minute. And uh, the no value in the data is minus 99999. Uh, the shape file of the station, <coughs> which is also in the reader, the station ID of uh, uh, the ID of the station, and the other was the ID of the data. Cutoff divide, frankly, I don't know what it is. This is start date and end date, and this was specified at the beginning in one of, in the previous, on top here. We define two keywords and start taking here. Here and also here. No, I don't see. I don't see the number of these. It's cut off the It's eight. Is the number of eight? Is eight? Yes. Okay. It's the number of Okay. That's the number of these. If you remember the plot of the morning, the number of these for which we have the semivariant, the variance, the semivariance value. So, for example, in this. 
and the output of this will be eight number of distances and eight numbers for the cellular yeah. area. And then we fit in this point the theoretical. Yeah. <coughs> and connect, this is the connection, just explaining what you saw before, <coughs> meaning this connection here. And so that's the C file. The final, the final variogram is this one in the, uh, the graphic done with Excel. <coughs> very bad, <laughs> very bad, bad appearing. Just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight pieces. And as you see, it's decent. How you, uh, I, go ahead. No, are, are eight points, as we were saying before. Yes, exactly. One for each beam. Is okay. this a unit here? So it's not eight categories for variance. Yes, th those are eight categories, eight, eight bins for the semivariance. So you have one value of the semivariance for each bin. Uh -huh. So you have eight points. Yeah, here, assume here you have a, twi I don't know how many stations we have here, but this is specified in one of the input files, in the shape file of the station, I think. Or at the dis and you have the distances here between the stations. Maybe you have uh, 20 stations, so you have much more points inside because you have all the distances, the reciprocal distances between the stations. But we reduce them before interpolation to be. So also, this one is the first is the first message, Elena.